huge eruption of Etna. This is a new eruption just happening right now in Italy. That is the southern part of the European continent, Eurasian plate, where the African plate is undergoing. Uh, this happened today. We had some uh, uh, lava activity during the night. It is showing. I will show you the rest of it later. And you can see a lot of pyroclastics. Some of them are really hot. You can see that even during the daylight. They are scattered all over the uh, Etna uh, periphery of the cone of the volcano. As you can see, uh, the volcano has erupted in the most huge way. That is, un that is unprecedented in the recent uh, years to be like that. And uh, we didn't expect it, this. Of course, we can predict it when the magma is uh, pushed under the volcano. It rises slightly the level of the land. We can measure that. People are there in that area actually watching it. It's a very famous ski resort. You can go there and ski on the slopes of the Etna. And uh, as you can see, this is a ski resort. People are there. It's, it's, it's relatively uh, not very high when you are on the flanks of the volcano. But from a distance, as you can see here, the, the amount of the pyroclastic rise into the atmosphere is huge compared to the Etna itself. Etna itself is not more than 3,000 uh, 3, meters. And people are there just doing the, the exercise there, <laughs> they're skiing. And uh, this is what it looks during the night. It's a hell rising from the deep into, uh, in the, you know, on beneath the crust of the earth. And we can see it from this space in this way. The prevailing wind is blowing it toward the south, toward the Libya. And this is the Africa pushing toward the Eurasian plate. It uh, disappeared, helped disappear the uh, Thetis Ocean and formed all these uh, mountain ranges, including the Alps. And uh, as you can see, when the earth crust, the African plate, goes underneath the Eurasian plate, it creates these volcanoes that we see. One of them is Etna.